<laughs> that is the most precious thing ever. She grips and holds it. Do you love your toy? Bailey, do you love it? Yeah. And then I'll show you what Coco's up to. It's kind of gloomy though, because it's about to pour the rain. Uh oh. I just bought you this. You're gonna tear the stuffing out already? Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Then you have Coco. Just sitting here like a baby. As long as you hold her like this, she is extremely content. Yeah, aren't you? All day. Alright, so we're about to have a super bad storm tomorrow. So I come outside, do the, you know, let the dogs out, and then I see in the back of the car, which you guys can't see, it's full of like these little bugs. Well, I don't know if this is like a Michigan thing. You guys in the comments are from like all over. So I want you to let me know if you guys get these. They they have different names. People call them fish flies, June bugs. Um, we live by the water, so they're even worse. But um, there's some on the porch. I know it's kind of gross. I'm not afraid to pick them up. I grew up around these. They look like this. Hold on. It's not going to focus. See that? They're like these little bugs. And they come out like during the night. When I used to work at Taco Bell, like let's just honestly see our like um, garage. That thing would be coated, completely covered with these things. And then um, they at nighttime they come out. During the day, it's just kind of like they live for 24 hours and then they're gone. They smell really disgusting. Um, and the, here's the worst part is when you're driving... Um, sometimes like under lights, cause I feel like they're attracted to lights in that. Um, when you're driving, sometimes you can hear, they pop, but you can hear them pop as you drive, you know, you ride over them and, uh, it's, it can make your car, sl car slide from the, you know, there being so many of them. But yeah, I, I had to come out here and show you guys. They're called, I call them mayflies, but June bugs, what have you. And... Yeah, oh, the progress on our porch. Obviously, Brian's back to work, so we'll get it fixed. We'll, he'll finish it, but yeah, look at them. They don't harm you. They don't bite you. They really don't do anything. I don't know what purpose, you know, they serve, but they're just disgusting and they smell. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys that because I know that's not an everywhere thing because customers, Tasha, because we used to get customers that came through like drive through and they were like petrified of these things like they were like oh my god what is that I've never seen something like that before because like where I worked was right around like the highway so you'd get people just traveling and coming through and I'm like oh no it's normal <laughs> totally normal but yeah I just had to show you guys that say hello to everybody they want to say hi to you ah uh. Okay, so I want to do a clean with me. This is what my kitchen currently looks like. It's a disaster, but it's going to hold me accountable. So, it's now midnight, and obviously I get off work at night, for the most part. So I want to clean this whole entire kitchen. I already did the dishes, so I'm kind of like, dang it, but oh well. Yep, I'm going to do this. But before I, but I'll show you the after, obviously. But I want to ask you guys something. Let me get it real fast before yeah. I ask. Did you tell them about your new bed? <gasps> Do you love it? Yeah, it's so big for you. It's if it's imperfect. I bought this at PetSmart. It was on sale for forty three. It was regularly, I think, fifty three, and it's huge. It's orthopedic, and I didn't even take the tag off yet. So if you guys want to know what kind of bed it is, let me just <laughs> let me take this off for you. Okay. Super support. Yeah, mama. That's so comfy. It's funny, though. I have their old bed still right there. To Like, it's it's junk now. After, I know this may be wasteful, but after, like, four months or something. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After, like, four months, I just go and get them a new bed because it's well overdue. And this one, look at you. You just look so comfy in it. Yeah. Okay. But that's not the question I had to ask oh, you guys. Hold on. Um, geez, where was I going with that? Sorry if you guys hear my dryer in the background. I feel like every video I film, I'm doing laundry. 
but I got the dogs, these two like little like rawhide kind of things. I paid $25 for this big bag right here. And well, I've read a lot of reviews because where I'm getting, moral of the story is the dogs, their teeth, um, like their back teeth where they you obviously you use the most to chew in that. They don't look the freshest and the cleanest and call me stupid. I know, um, I don't have a toothbrush for them. I, I know like that's probably bad to say I am going to get one. It's not something I ever thought of, you know, I know that sounds so pathetic, but Hey, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So moral of the stories, I wanted to see, you know, get some stuff to help clean their teeth better in that. Like, obviously I give them the, um, the greenies. I've gave them those, um, and I see their teeth and all that very regularly, but I just noticed like in the back, especially on Coco, my smallest dog, I was like, wow, she's like getting some buildup. So I'm going to, I want to stop that before it gets worse. So I bought these cause I figured I'll try this first. So I'm not like jamming a toothbrush in her mouth, but like I said, especially Coco and got these and she doesn't like them. <laughs> Tasha, so, so, she'll chew on it, hardly, and then Bailey, mm, so, 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 yeah, I don't know, has, did you, has your that guy's dogs ever ate these, is there something you can do to make them eat them, I almost literally thought about putting peanut butter on it, but I feel like that defeats the purpose, because I wouldn't put a lot, just like a little bit, so they think it's like a treat, but really it's not, but I did read reviews on this, like, it's amazing, for the dogs that use it, it like cleans their teeth like really well and gets rid of any plaque, build up, whatever. And some of the reviews I read were, they were like, oh yeah, well my dogs, it was a waste of money because my dogs don't even eat, you know, like them. So they won't, you know, chew on them. And I was like, oh, well my dogs eat anything. There's not a food they haven't turned down. So I get this slap in the face. They don't like it. So is there something you guys do to get your dog, like get your dogs to eat these or give me some tips and suggestions on how to clean dog's teeth because Coco, she, she don't want you, she doesn't want anybody, she don't want, you know, hands in her mouth. So yeah, I just want to know, like, do you guys have any tips on how to clean a dog's teeth really well? Obviously taking them to the vet and get the cleaning. Yeah. But what are some preventative measures too? Like after that, and if you're wondering where my ring is, um, I'm cleaning right now and I don't want to scratch it. So it's in, it's put up, but yeah, now I'm going to get back to clean. So I pretty much have everything done. I want to deep clean my stove, but I'm going to have to do that another day. I want to get some good cleaners for that. Um, that little corner right there, the blender, I need to just totally get rid of that because we never use it or put it up somewhere. And the problem with our kitchen is we do have a smaller kitchen and we d it may look like oh we have a ton of cabinet space but really we don't like we have these two cabinets here that are full and then that's like cups which i don't know like there really is not a lot of storage to put stuff in i guess like that one that middle one right there's got our plates and bowls and like tupperware that over there has um cups and then mugs um those two are like spices, seasoning, stuff like that. Like things you put on top of stuff. And then in there is just like, that is what our like food go. I don't know, chips, popcorn, what have you, snacks. They're all in that. So it's really small. The popcorn machine we could probably get rid of and put a, put in the utility room because we don't really use it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any tips, let me know on what you guys do as far as space goes for a small kitchen. Um, but yep, I have like my ray done right there. Super cute. And yeah, like I said, gonna get rid of that. Dishes when they're dry, obviously it'll look better, but not too shabby. And then, yep. And I have my cute little dish towel right here, which I'm obsessed with dish towels. Um, I'm actually overdue for a new one. About every season, I typically get it. So I'll get some for Halloween, um, summer, spring, fall, you, you know, you get it. Um, obviously, I, I got this around like in February, so around Valentine's Day and that. Well, after that, pretty much everything is shut down. So I haven't been able to go to TJ Maxx yet and get stuff. But yeah, this is it, guys. I hope that you're enjoying this.
Hold on, let me show you some pictures too. show you guys? I don't think I ever showed you like our fridge. First off, this picture right here, guys. Um, Brian had hair. <laughs> That's his mommy. Um, these are some old ones. Those are very old. Like I said, Brian just looks like two different people. They don't even look like the same person. This is a more recent one. This is when we took Grant and Dave and Buster's. And then anytime we go to Dave and Buster's, we like to take pictures. We love taking pictures. Then there's, this was when we went to a club the night Jacob got us kicked out for literally touching a drink. So I think that's the first time I had ever went to a club with Brian. And then, oh my God, clearly you guys can tell these are old. But yeah, that's kind of like what our fridge looks like. And then Brian's grandma who passed away. But yeah. And we have some stuff down here too. But yeah, that's all I'm going to show you guys. Oh, they're sleeping in their bed finally. Alright, so this is going to conclude pretty much the last bit of this vlog. Um, I know it's been nothing eventful, but I'll show you. I'll show you guys what's on my nails in a minute. I just did them real quick uh, last night. But um, yeah. So this vlog, like I said, it's going to be nothing super eventful. Um, I'm going to pick up my house. So I showed you the kitchen. Now I'm going to show you. This is real life. So this is like after a week's worth of us working and my days off. I just had food. But um, I'm going to clean this whole downstairs. Our kitchen table tends to be a catch-all for everything. So I'm going to clean that. Do Clean everything. So it's going to be baby. Yeah, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys what it all looks like after, and then I got a ton of clothes I gotta fold too, and that's just not one basket, I have not one, not two, but three, possibly four, so we're gonna get it done, guys, whether it be 11 o'clock at night or early in the day, but yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after, but say hi to him, Coco, yeah. But yeah, my nails are super cute. Um, I will show you guys the color real quick. So these are the colors. This is, these two colors right here, um, I just recently bought. I had my eye on them for a while and they keep slipping. These are, again, I talk about this all the time, LA Colors. This is their Extreme Shine Gel brand, um, whatever. And if you guys want to know what the purple looks like, the shade is jazzy and my nails look like crap right now they keep breaking so they're like uneven but anyways then if you guys want to know what's on this finger um it is this color i swear this company needs to um sponsor me because i talk about them in almost every video this is in day glow this is a new polish they have um it looks green like in the bottle i mean yeah i guess it's true to color but i will will say this um, actually, someone in my comments, see, I read all my comments, someone just recently told me that they did the, one of the pink nail polishes, but they put white. Um, this one, I don't put a white base down first. Um, I don't, I don't need it. But when it comes to colors like this, like a bright neon yellow or something, to get the true color from the bottle, I always recommend putting down a white base coat first. Just like, yeah, yeah, white base coat, yeah, just to put, like, a, your layer of white down, make sure it's, um, nice and, was it, like, opaque or whatever, and then you're gonna put this over top of it, and it looks great, it looks just like it, what's in the bottle, so, yep, this is a good one, again, I think I got these both at Family Dollar, so, oops, you can get them at Walmart, too, and then, this is my number, pro honestly, probably my number one favorite nail polish out of any nail polishes I have right now, and it's in posh. It's this color. Um, I'm constantly alternating, like, throughout the week or whatever. I probably wear this at least once a week. And I paint my nails about, I'd say about anywhere from two to three times. Two to three times a week, maybe. But it's always on my nails. And actually, it's starting to dry out. So I'm going to go and pick up maybe two. Just because they're so inexpensive. And this is my favorite color. The only complaint I guess I could say about... I have like two little baby complaints about this um, nail polish. Is the brush. I don't... not a fan of the brush. Because it's really big. So it's kind of... It can be kind of messy. But that's like super... I can work with that. But the only other complaint I have is when you take off the top, um, 
I'm going to try to show you guys. Normally it happens every single time, but when I take off the top, like the brush gets stuck and it doesn't come off. Hold on, let me see. See? It does that. So like I have to put the cap back on, kind of like shimmy it around, and then the brush attaches back to the cap when you pull it off. So that's only one small complaint. I noticed all of the nail polishes do it, not when you first open them, but now means that I've used these. Um, typically that happens, but these colors are super cute. Um, yeah, Brian's like, they remind me of Easter, but I was, I thought they were kind of summery, right? And then my gorgeous ring. But yeah, guys, I know this video probably wasn't too crazy eventful, but again, I, I sound like a broken record. That's real life sometimes. And I never want to like show my house, make it look like it's constantly perfect and everything because I want to be relatable to you guys. And I know dang well that my house does not look perfect every single day. There, It's just, that's unrealistic. That's not real life. So I wanted to show you like after a week's worth of working, you know, and all that between Brian being back to work and that, this is just what it looks like. And I'm going to clean it. So it'll be all ready for the week, the rest of the week, because today's Monday. Today's like my day off. So it would be kind of like my Saturday or Sunday, if you get it. Also, um, um, uh, the video with Gran, I do have that coming out soon. And what else? So I don't want you guys to think like I totally just dropped the ball on that because I'm going to do a Q&A with her. I figured that would be fun. Also, I'm going to go shopping a little bit with Caroline and Jake and I think Caleb tomorrow. So look toward to that. But I'll show you guys the after of everything when I'm all done. Right. I just picked up my living room and all that and I'll show you what it looks like the after. But this I want to talk about. Um, This is a fall scent. We use the wax melter. Um, I learned that wax melters personally for us, they work better than candles. They work better than like just a spray, you know, because we have the Febreze spray. We spray that on like the rug and then furniture and all that and that works well but like to keep our house smelling good and what lasts the longest are these wax melts so we buy them at walmart you can buy a wax melter at walmart we have a really cute one we bought honestly like 12 dollars, and these are like two to three dollars a piece sometimes i've even seen them for only 97 cents they come in a thing like this this is my all-time favorite scent it's the farm apple pumpkin when fall comes around i load up on the candles and everything but I was kind of in the mood for like this scent right here so I put it in the wax melter so if you guys want to know one of them we use I'll show you a few I'll show you the rest of the wax melts we use one, one of them we use is this coconut lime this is the mainstay brand um these are smaller these are the 97 cents 97 cent ones so um yeah really good deal now the other one that one was better homes and gardens i think those are really big cubes and they last for a long time and it's um a little hack to get the wax out in case you want to switch the scents up put your wax melt in the freezer for literally less than like a minute and then just get a little you can just like almost like push it out and it comes out solid you throw it away uh um what else was i gonna say since they have a million different ones i'm super picky with stuff i'm not a huge um fruity fan i'm more of like the fall scents so this one i really liked when it came to like summer it smells exactly like what it says coconut lime um we got this one this is another fruity one that i can handle it's not too bad it's not like my all-time favorite but this is a real good one and then this one, this came in a big pack. Um, this is another brand they have. This is the Cotton Candy Cloud. Let me see. Hold on, let me smell it. I really do like this. Um, I can't burn it a really long time. Like, I, can, I can't keep it on like my other ones. This is a really overpowering and strong scent. If you don't like like super sweet scents, then you won't like this. But it's a, it's a pretty decent one. Again, I like... Yeah, this one I actually like. It's a sweet one. Um, vanilla, you know, cupcake, cake, and all that. But sometimes you don't want your house to smell like that. So these are different alternatives. And like I said, this is just a few different brands. Or a few different. Actually, they are different brands. That's a sensational one. Mainstay and then Better Homes and Gardens. So yeah, really good. Give them a try, guys. Let me know what your favorite cubes are. Because I've seen a few of you in my comments let me know that you guys like these. So yeah, let me know which ones you like. But now to show you the rest of the laundry, that is all done. And then 
you have all three doggies sleeping together. There's Bailey's Grinch. That is her baby. That is her toy. She knows. And look how good they all fit. See, I feel much better that they're not all crammed and they have their own space and then some for another dog. We're not really getting another dog, but you know. And then, bam, the two blankets, like the throw ones, I'm going to wash them. Um, that blanket, that's like a comforter we keep down here because we just lay on it and Bailey loves it. She thinks that's her, like, own personal bed. Um, clean the table off. Clean Brian's, like, computer stand. I need to clean up here. I need to do, like, a whole declutter. We actually want to remodel and we've almost, we almost want to just take down that whole entire fireplace. We don't use it. It actually is very bulky. We don't like that. We don't like it. Uh, the, like the wood up there we don't like. And then, yeah. So we're going to get rid of that eventually. But then I cleaned up his computer desk and then the kitchen table, which you guys had seen earlier was horrible looking. Now it's good. And then, yep, this is it for right now. And then, I'm just chilling here. I'm watching the show on TV called Fatal Attractions. I don't know. I'm totally into it. Never heard of it before. I've watched like three to four episodes already. And it's almost like a true crime TV, really. But yeah. Say hi, guys. I, uh, I'm i going to take a shower now. I think I'm going to self-tan. Um, I might show you that. If not, uh you know what? No, I'll show that in my next video. I'll show you my self tanning. So I'm going to end the video here. Again, I apologize if it wasn't super eventful. Um, I hope you guys enjoy though. I will talk to you all later and yeah, I love you guys. Goodbye.